Thank you, Tops, for making it oh so simple for us to understand. Well, as promised, fitness to get your week started. Charlie Keegan is back in the house. Charlie, always a pleasure to see you, sir. Thank you, Actor and fitness extraordinaire. We love the sessions Charlie brings us. Functional fitness. Um, and obviously, going into the season that we are at the moment, uh, everyone, especially the guys out there, looking to build the guns, get those aesthetic muscles going. So you've got some awesome exercises. Yep. Take us through what we're going to be doing this morning. Well, we're going to do a full body workout. Uh, like it's it. going to be a cool. circuit working every one of our big muscle groups. Nice. Uh, uh, something you can do in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, it's, it's up to you, but it's, it's cool. really going to get We're going to do it in three and a half minutes. Cool. All right, where do we start? Right, well, we, we're going to start with what is known as a, a squat jump. Okay. And this is a plyometric exercise. In other words, it's using as maximum amount of force as you can in a shorter duration of time. Okay. And this really gets the blood flowing and circulation going. So what we're going to do is feet shoulder width apart. Sure. And what you're going to do is keep your back nice and straight, looking forward, you're going to lower down your hips. Sure. Okay, using those arms as balance. What you're going to do is you're going to jump up through your heels as high as you can and then jump back down into the squat position ready for another one. Okay. So it looks like something like this. There and down. It's cool. very simple. And you want to really get as high as you can. And you can do that for nice. Cool. Yeah. For as many as 10, 15, 20 reps, you can do it for one minute, two minutes, up to you. As long as you keep that duration at the same time, every... Keep those intervals going. Yeah, okay. you'll be able to gauge how much you're improving every week. Uh, from there, we're going to go into what's a classic push-up. Okay. Uh, which is a great test of, the, of your strength. But yeah. a lot of people seem to get their form wrong. So what's important is that you get down, face down, and you point your elbows towards your toes. Okay. Right, and then keep your feet point your toes up towards your body cool. and keeping your elbows towards your toes simply push up and this is ideally working ah. the chest and obviously your and triceps then, uh, to a degree start. yeah and da cool da da and, and, if and you can, do as many of those as you can and I see you, you're not actually giving your body the opportunity to rest on the ground no, what's you want important to keep that tension going. Graham, is that you want to keep a nice straight plank here so that you've got from your head Right through the heels, a nice straight line. You don't want to bend your back. You don't want to lift it up too much. Get, get the most out of the movement. Yeah. yeah. Cool. A variation on this, and this is something a little bit tougher, is you can, what's called a diamond push-up, is bring your hands into the position of a diamond, cool. and just above your chest. And this works more with your arms than your chest, so you're going to really go right down, lower into there, and then come back up. Nice. That's it. It's a good tricep. Yeah, that way you feel cool. it in your triceps, huh? Very nice. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> As we round out, Chad, your advice for, for people now, obviously we, we hit that time when everyone is shocking their systems, crash diets, the works to get fit. What's your advice going into the, the silly summer season? Well, you don't want to cut your calories too drastically, otherwise you lose all sorts of energy, you, your libido goes down, <laughs> all, all sorts of crazy things start happening. So it's about a gentle process. If you haven't started now, do Ease it. Ease into it, yeah. yeah. Yep, well, we'll give you the opportunity. As you can see, we've got the pull-up bar a little bit later this morning. We're going to get into more of our upper body workout, also give those abs a bit of a workout. Well, talking about working out, we were doing it for a very good cause. Blisters for bread. We've been going on for ages about how brilliant the initiative is, but it came down to putting your money where your mouth is, and the Espresso team was there to deliver in style. Take a look.